Hi there, Jack here from Bridge Coffee Roasters. Today we're looking at this. It's the E65S Grind by Weight Espresso Grinder from Malkonig. It's an upgraded version of their E65S grinder that produces really delicious fluffy coffee grounds with its 65 millimeter flat burrs, but this has the addition of the Grind by Weight grinding system. It's one of our favorite grinders to use here at Bridge and we're constantly using it in our showroom here in Cardiff just to make our staff coffees day in, day out. It's really consistent and easy to use. So in this video, we're just gonna give a quick overview of the grinder, check out that grind by weight grinding system. We're gonna put it through a few tests and make some coffee with it as well and see what kind of a difference it can make to your barista's workflow. So this grinder is really designed to be sitting on the front bench of a cafe. As you can see with the portafilter locking system, it is espresso focused and it's just a really great tool for consistently brewing delicious coffee day in and day out. So as I mentioned, it's an upgraded version of the E65S, which only offers manual and grind by time grinding. You still get both of those features in this grinder, but you're also paying about another 300 pounds for the grind by weight system as well. So as just a quick overview of the grinder, Towards the back, you've got an on and off switch and a locking mechanism as well. And that helps you to lock in the grind size to stop you from accidentally fiddling with it. So you can change the grind size by using the paddle here on the front. It's got some really nice clear markings with numbers between zero and eight. And for espresso, we're normally finding that we're somewhere between a four and a six on the dial there. So we've got a clear and really intuitive and easy to use screen on the front. So firstly, we've got a dial on the front that helps you change from a grind by weight to grind by time and then a manual mode as well. You've also got two buttons. So on the top left, you've got a manual purge button. And that's really helpful if you've just changed grind size and you need to purge a little bit of coffee out or if you need to top up the dose for whatever reason. And then just below, we've got another button that helps you fine tune your dose as well. So we've got a pretty generously sized hopper as well. It holds just over a kilo of coffee and you can remove that by closing the bean gate, purging whatever coffee is left and then twist the hopper anti-clockwise and it'll come off really easily. So the main reason you would invest a little bit more money into the E65S and get that grind by weight system is to fully eliminate one of the processes from the workflow of your barista. With a time-based grinder, they can be a little bit inconsistent. You'll set a time that will get you somewhere in the ballpark of the coffee dose that you're looking for. But usually you'll have to either use a teaspoon to take away some coffee or manually add a little bit more to get to your desired weight. So instead of having to do that, I can use the grind by weight system. It's incredibly easy to use. You just set the dose that you're looking for. So I've got 18 grams. You place the portafilter onto the grinder and it will tear out the weight and then it will give you the exact dose that you're looking for. And from there, you just give it a few taps to level the bed, tamp and then brew your espresso. So I wanted to test out how accurate that grind by weight system is. So I pulled 10 shots of espresso using two different coffees and a range of different grind sizes. And using an external scale, I weighed out exactly what was coming out of the grinder. And I'll show that on the screen now. So you can see the worst performance was 17.8, which is still really close to the target weight of 18 grams. Occasionally we were 0.1 of a gram off at either 17.9 or 18.1 but five out of 10 times we hit 18.0 exactly. So not flawless results, but incredibly impressive. And I would say definitely eliminates the need of using an external scale to make sure you're getting the right dose every time. So aside from that main quality of life feature that you're buying in the grind by weight system, another reason that we keep coming back to this grinder in our showroom is just the quality of coffee that it produces. The grounds just come out of this looking incredibly fluffy and well distributed. And that's mostly thanks to the clump crusher that they've got hidden behind the chute there, which gets rid of any big clumps in the coffee grounds. It's also pretty quick and quiet. So we're getting an 18 gram dose of coffee in about five seconds usually. So the grounds look great when they're coming out of the grinder. They're really fluffy and they look nice and evenly distributed. So I just wanna run a quick test just to see if this grinder can help you get rid of any of those workflow steps or puck prep tools that you might be using to prepare your espresso before you tamp. So what I'm gonna do is pull three shots of espresso using three different levels of puck prep and distribution. Firstly, I'm just gonna let the grinder do most of the work. I'll let the grounds go into the portafilter, give it a quick tap to level the bed and then tamp and then pull a shot and see how long that takes. Okay, so that first shot took about 27 seconds. 
What I'll do next is add a little bit of distribution with a wedge distribution tool. That will help level out the bed of coffee a little bit more. If the extraction time increases, that will show that the grinder maybe is making some channels that the distribution tool is helping to get rid of, increasing that evenness and extraction time. Okay, so that second shot finished in 26.4 seconds. So not really any meaningful difference. So what that shows is that if you tap out the bed of coffee a little bit, the grinder's doing a pretty good job already of making sure that there's even grounds distributed throughout the puck. So for the final step in the test, I'm gonna be using a WDT method. That's essentially just using a few needles to go into the coffee puck and get rid of any big clumps that might be there. If there's no meaningful change in extraction time with the WDT method, then that will show that the grinder is doing a pretty good job of distributing the coffee grounds nice and evenly, and you probably don't need to be adding any kind of distribution method into your workflow. Okay, and that final shot took 28 seconds, so a little bit slower. It's not a perfect test, but it does show you that the grinder is doing a pretty good job already of evenly distributing the coffee nicely throughout the puck. And you probably don't need to worry too much about adding any kind of distribution method into your workflow. Just take what the grinder's giving you, tap out the porta filter a little bit to level the bed of coffee, but then you can just tamp and brew your espresso and you should be good to go. So the E65 is a really great espresso grinder, especially when you add that grind by weight system. Eliminates a lot of the steps and time taken in the workflow of the barista to get that espresso shot ready. There's a couple things to consider though if you are looking at the grinder for your next purchase. Firstly, there is a little bit of an issue with retention. So as you're changing coffees or grind sizes, you will have to purge about a shot's worth of coffee. That's not gonna be an issue for most use cases, but if you're thinking of buying this for yourself at home or for a business and you want it to serve a few different coffees, maybe a decaf and some guest espressos, you probably will need to pair it up with a different grinder as it is a little bit of a pain to be swapping coffees constantly and changing grind sizes. So with that retention, it's probably not ideal if you're looking at serving different guest espressos or decaf coffees, but if you're just looking at putting a house espresso into this, keeping it on the front bar of your cafe, it's gonna be a great workhorse for you. Another thing to keep in mind is that the grind by weight system does need a stable surface to work off of. So if you're gonna be using the grinder outside in the wind or on the move at all, it's definitely something to keep in the back of your mind. Keep track of that grind by weight system, make sure it's not being affected. That's something that we've noticed in the past, but I've been told that more recent models have fixed that as an issue. You can learn more about the E65S by hitting the link in the description that will take you to our wholesale website. If you want to try out the grinder before you buy one, then you're more than welcome to visit our showroom here in Cardiff and try it for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And we'll see you next time.